Guys. <laughs> Happy Friday. Welcome to another vlog. Yep. If you saw our last vlog, we left you in suspense. Yeah. We, we we are in Waco, Texas. We are back home. Yeah. We deadheaded 950 miles to get back here and why did we come here? Because I bought a new camera. <laughs> I think he might have mentioned he was getting this camera. I pre-ordered it like two months ago. Yeah. It, it shipped out yesterday and got here this morning and I wanted to be here to get it. And But we do have a load lined up here in Texas too. We so. have two loads lined up. We do yes. have two loads lined up, but we'll tell you guys all about that in the next vlog. But it, it, it made sense for us. So uh, I'm excited. Do you guys want to see it? Of course they want to see it. Okay. You want to show it off. I do you know want to show, want to show it, off. it off. I do want to show it off. I'm making us dinner. I'm making us some uh, BLT chaffles right now. Now this is completely rigged out though. <laughs> like, so it's got like a metal cage on it that helps protect it some, but this is uh, the new Sony uh, video camera. Um, one of the positive sides is it got the flip out screen instead of the flip up screen but I'm excited to use this <laughs> so I'm really excited our next vlogs will be filming on that camera yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we'll be using this one instead of this one right here because this camera is supposed to take the place of all the other cameras we got other than our GoPro our action cams that yeah we stuff use like for that driving footage but like forever in all my camera research, people have always said that there is no such thing as the perfect camera. For most people, this is the perfect camera for me, <laughs> for us. You know, video, it does amazing video. It does actually 4K, 120 frames per second. For anybody who doesn't know what that means, it's slow motion. Mm -hmm. So it does really good slow motion video in 4K instead of 1080. But in order to do that, don't you have to have a special SD card? No, no, no. Um, in order to record in the highest quality format, it requires a special SD card. Which he has on order as well. Yeah, well, it's a brand new SD card. No camera out there uses this type, and Sony decided to come out with it. And But, of course, when they come out with the camera that needs it, they don't ship out the... <laughs> It's on back order. Yeah. It, that's probably just the camera company I ordered it from, but I'm super excited about this. Yeah, he's been this itching is, to get that. We were this wanting is it. it. This is the perfect camera for us, you yeah. know? It does everything we need it to and want it to, and the functionality of it and just everything about it is perfect, so. We were hoping it was gonna get here when we were home on our vacation, but of course that didn't happen, but it worked out. We were able to come home and get it. And like Jason said, we already got two loads lined up. So it worked out. For those who want to know, this is called the A7S III. They've been waiting five years for this model to come out. Really? Why did it take so long? I don't know. Sony's wonky the, about that. The, the thing is, is like none of them want to make like a perfect camera for everything. Because then if they do that, nobody will buy any more cameras. It, right. So that's like, I think that's like their... Thinking. Right, they want people to buy their higher end cameras, so they're not going to put all that better quality things in this or these. But Sony went all out on this one. Mm -hmm. What's new on it? it? Has a flip out screen. It has a flip out screen, which Sony like almost refused to do. It has the 4K. It has um, now this is kind of foreign language to most people, but it shoots in a higher bit rate that has more information to uh, i know it's it's complicated yeah over your over yeah, my head yeah, sometimes yeah, i'm like yeah. yeah i just yeah you take care of all that <laughs> it's the perfect camera for us uh, uh, mm -hmm. the flip out screen to be able to see yourself yeah. to kind of make sure i got both of us in frame and you know all that it's perfect 
He's a camera geek. And then I can have the microphones on top and then the screen out to the side. Which we did actually also get, uh, I don't know if we said this or not, but we got new microphones we've been using in the last vlog and we're using them in this vlog. So yep, yep. hopefully the audio is better. It, it's easier because you know how she gets all loud all the time sometimes these microphones prevent that so yeah so hopefully it's a more even keel on us it should even we'll out see. the audio you'll have yeah. to let us know yeah. if you notice anything better with the audio but yeah. we're uh this weekend just gonna chill in the truck we uh we're not pulling the airstream out just for the weekend no. we're gonna go see mama crafty for a little bit tomorrow uh, probably run to walmart get a few things for the truck yeah and just yeah get a few things done with the truck that we need to do since we've been off because we didn't do no, well on our vacation we didn't we came over to the truck when we yeah, got is, back to Waco yeah just to get a few what things what are we gonna do I want to go through I all, clean out I, my toolbox yeah we need to clean out the toolbox we got a tool bag in here we need to clean out I want to kind of go through the cabinets and kind of reorganize and reevaluate what we have in that in those because there's some stuff we can pull out and yeah, just just odds and ends things. Um, we got something our friend Wayne from Australia sent oh, yeah, us for the truck condo. that we need to put on the truck, which Crafty we'll show you stuff. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that should be we're excited cool. to get that put on. But yeah, we're we're just chilling in Waco this weekend. All right, that's all I got. I'm gonna go play with my Keep camera. Keep us a good play with. I need to finish dinner. So I gotta get all the settings and all everything and all the formats set up right and all my quick key functions and. <laughs> I gotta oh get gosh. all that set up. Yeah. So, and I gotta get to editing. So we'll catch up with you guys later. All right. Well, well. Let's turn this copyrighted music down here. <laughs> we are in Mama Crafty's car. Fat man and little car. <laughs> I know her car feels like a go kart. She it, has a, what yeah. is it, a Nissan Rogue? Rogue? Yeah. 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 Here, here you, you, you handle that. Yeah. So. We are out and about. I went Whoop, with belt. I went with Mama Crafty this morning to Walmart to pick up a few things for the truck that we needed. Welcome to the Walmart. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I just just getting stuff done today, really. We are heading to Chipotle. Yep, get some My lunch. My favorite. It is his favorite. Logging in the car. We don't do this much, huh? No. We got the new GoPro Nine. If you follow Jason on Instagram at Blue Collar Nomad. You would have probably already seen that. Did you post that on? I did post a picture oh, of it. Okay. Yeah. We haven't used it much. No, we're trying it out today. Trying it out right now. I mean, we don't have no microphone hooked up to it at all, so yeah. we'll, we'll see. It's we'll see. probably not going to be great. <laughs> I'll probably have to, boom, here we go. I do like it, though, because this GoPro is the first GoPro that has a front-facing screen, so you can actually see what you're filming. Yeah, make sure you're in frame. <laughs> and she, she, what she likes to do is tilt it up. She oh. likes to put herself down at the very yeah. bottom. Well, because I can't see what I'm filming when I'm using the <laughs> 8 and I'm out vlogging by myself. That's usually what I use. Yeah, but yeah. And he always gripes at me because I'm don't. i not in frame. But yeah. no, I can see what I'm filming. Huh? Heading to Chipoodle. They have really good food for one. Like they source it from... Uh, good ingredients. Good ingredients, all that. And you can make it keto there. It's super easy to make stuff keto. You get yeah. a salad, you don't, you know, um, don't get the, what is it, the pico? Yeah. Um, I still get the salsa, but it's No not, rice or beans. No rice or beans, you know. She gets veggies. Yeah, and, I'll show you what we get. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, she, we. She gets mad at me because I always want it. She's okay. like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, Chipotle. She's Although, like, when we're really doing hardcore low carb, I do like Chipotle, which we've been doing really good this week. We, on our vacation, we did so terrible. We were not worrying about oh what gosh. carbs we were eating or anything. Oh my gosh, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so we're, we're, we're back on the low low carb train yeah we do so much better in the truck and <laughs> I don't you know think we'd do better at home like for me like once I'm doing it for a couple weeks I'm good I'm like I'm really strict about it so yeah she, we're she, good. she was getting the keto flu this week I was yeah, yeah. from eating so low carb Headaches this week and, but yeah low, low carb uh, what do they call it? Withdrawals? Yeah, car, car withdrawals. Car withdrawals. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I haven't drank any Red Bulls in forever. No, he's for drinking Bang now, which I mean. Again, you know, like I've switched back and forth, but they're 
probably still not great, but it's better, better than, than Red, Red Bull. Bulls. And he's drinking less of those than he was the Red Bulls. Yeah, so I was that's drinking good. like six Red Bull a day, and yeah. now I'm drinking maybe three, two, three bangs. Yeah, his favorite flavor right now is a cherry, cherry lime. It's like a cherry limeade, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Or the peach mango. Yeah, peach the, mango. Those two are my food. <laughs> when I went to Walmart, I stocked up on all the ones they had of the cherry ones he likes. But anyway, yeah. Anywho. We're going to go to Chipotle. Then we're going to go check our P.O. box while we're here. Probably nothing in it but junk since we were just home and, a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally get back out on the road for real, for real this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, for real, we were for out real. one week. That was just and, a little tease. Yeah, yeah. We were out one week and we're already back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. We really don't want to be home, but I wanted that camera. He wanted that camera. I was excited like kid at Christmas, I it, tell you. It really was. Yeah. So. I got other stuff coming too, but. Yeah, but the camera was the main wait. thing. Yeah, that stuff can wait. <laughs> All right. Pulling up to Chipotle. That was fast. I need my hand to do it Weekend. Yeah, it was pretty productive. Got my new my new camera all set up and haven't even done nothing with it yet. Took the whole weekend uh, setting up all the settings and custom setting buttons and yeah. all that good stuff. So Yeah, we did a few things yesterday <laughs> um, after we got back from the post office and everything. Our S-Bar heater in this truck, oh, whenever... Yeah. Just like the AC ducting, yeah. when they routed the ducting for the S-Bar, they did like a weird s like a too many bends so what had happened like, like over the cold months when we first got the truck it yeah. started getting an error message of overheating it kept saying overheating and we couldn't use it and so over the weekend we took that s out we lowered the 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 register and made a str more straighter run straight for it yeah. yeah it's a more straight shot still got a little bit of a bend but not like it was no and we ran it for like 20 minutes and it didn't come up with an overheat yep, message yep, or yep, anything yep, yep. So, so we're ready yeah. for winter we are yeah well we, we still got we still got a few more maintenance things we got to do yeah. I'll, one thing i like to do is grease uh or use some silicone grease for all the locks and get all those prepared for cold freezing temperatures but yeah. we I think we got another month probably before we hit freezing yeah but speaking of the S bar too we need to get up to Michigan sometime to S bar because we uh, had talked to them and they're gonna let us do a video and show us kind of how to do maintenance on how, the S bar how to maintain your own S bar yeah, yeah if you ever have problems with yours uh, that we're gonna do a whole video with them and we've been wanting to get up there for a couple months and we they just have not ever get up that way yeah yeah, so yeah we'll have to make it a point especially starting to getting into the winter months so we can kind of we thought that'd be good to share with you guys it'd be cool for me to learn that you know because yeah. I've watched a few videos here and there but to learn from an expert of S bar heaters, you know, he's been working on these things and do installing them and everything for years. Yeah. So that I think that would be really cool. But yeah, hopefully we can get up there within the next month or so before 
the cold, cold weather. Cold, gets here. cold weather, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, we uh, said goodbye to Mama Crafty and Scully and Dexter, and we deadheaded to get closer for our pickup tomorrow, which. I am super excited about this next load because it's going somewhere we do not get very often. Yeah. Which you'll find out in the next vlog. Yeah, yeah. You know what we totally forgot about is we didn't talk about our trip that much. <laughs> we did it. I in know. In the first vlog back, gosh, we're, we're such we're rookie. We're just so scatterbrained trying to get back into the groove of things yeah, of yeah, vlogging and yeah. running loads. But yeah. man, our trip was so cool. So we left out, we, 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 when we took off, we went home to Waco. We were there for like three days. Yep. Then we um, we left Waco, and our first stop, of course, was up by Mount Rushmore. We stayed at a, a KOA there called Pal Palmer Gulch, and we had three full days there. That yeah, we stayed there three full days. And what we like, what what stuff did we do there again? We well, went we went and saw Mount. We saw Crazy Horse. That was just a quick trip. We just basically yeah. went in, saw it, and left yeah. on the way before we yeah. even checked into the RV park. Yeah. But, we went and saw Mount Rushmore yep. twice. We went during the day and walked the whole thing. And then we went back a couple of days at night because they had a night lighting ceremony, which was really it, cool. That was pretty cool, yeah. Um, we rode the Needles Highway, which yep. was really cool. That was a cool drive, that like was. seeing all the buffalo and yes. those cave roads. Yeah, oh, it was beautiful. Tons beautiful. of pull-off beautiful sections. Mm -hmm. And, and then yeah, really um, cool. we rented side-by-sides. The, the, oh, yeah, we did that one so day. Fun. Yeah, oh, my gosh. yeah. <laughs> Heather went through that, and you guys have probably seen the video of this. <laughs> She was driving and she went through this puddle section and it just soaked well, it up. Was a surprise though because like I was going and I gunned it and it was like a, a, a hill and Jason's like go so I gunned it and of course on the other side was the mud puddle. The old mud puddle yeah. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Yeah yeah we were soaking wet muddy dirty Oh, uh, so much fun though. Mm -hmm. Those things, those, those, I think that was my favorite part of the trip. I think so. That was, yeah. so, we love doing stuff like that. Four wheelers, yeah. snowmobiles, just anything like that. Yeah. And then we went to a wine tasting. We did a wine tasting. I'm kind of, kind of like the wine thing. That's yeah. A, she drank a whole bottle of wine. One night. One night, and she was hugging the toilet. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was when we were in Yellowstone. Yeah. It's funny. She can, put down beers no yeah. problem yeah. so she didn't think nothing of it oh one bottle of wine that won't be bad yeah well it, the wine it was like 20 percent alcohol <laughs> and I, yeah it was it was good though but, yeah, it was really oh my good gosh. So, yeah. wine can be dangerous it can. Yeah. and then of course um the day we were checking out of the rv park um out by rushmore that's when you know tyson we were having the issues with him and yeah. we found the emergency vet yeah. we checked out went to the emergency vet got him taken care of in rapid city yeah and then we that was pretty quick though yeah. i mean like that was a quick yeah, process they, half, yeah, the half day, the day i think yeah and they got him all the medications and, uh -huh. and then, then we went to where was it devil's tower devil's tower yes and, oh. and then it was funny when we were in devil's tower we took a day and came back yeah to um uh, not sturges what's not the other sturges. one keystone no. Wasn't it Keystone? No. Deadwood. 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 Yeah, That's we came it. back yeah. to Deadwood and walked along, and they were having like a car show there. Yeah, and... we were going to go to Sturgis. We did a wine tasting there, too. We did do a wine tasting <laughs> there. We turned into winos. We did turn but, into winos on our vacation. Um, but yeah, we were going to go to Sturgis, but ended up not doing that. And man, we stayed at the KOA there at Devil's Tower. It's basically right at the entrance to Devil's Tower, yeah, which is yeah. really, really cool. Yeah, and that's how we were able to get the drone flight of it because we were outside the park yeah. and I kept the drone outside the park. So. Yeah, because we couldn't do any drone flight at Rushmore because, of course, that's all protected. All and, national um, park and all yeah, that. Yeah, two full days there. The second day we went to Devil's Tower and explored that. We climbed yeah. up as far as we could to the base of it, which was yeah. really cool. There was people actually scaling. Oh the, yeah, climbing up Devil's oh, Tower. Oh, we didn't say, Patrick and Eric from Highfield had came with us they, too. Yes, they did, it was so fun. It was yeah. really, really cool that they came. They had heard we were going and they were like, ooh, we've always wanted to do that. <laughs> And so they came along too. It sucked though because they brought their RV. Yeah. And they broke down in Iowa on the way out to Rushmore. But luckily, he has a bus RV and he had his uh, SUV pulling behind it. Yeah. So they took the got towed to a Freightliner, 
got in their um, in their Jeep and they came the rest of the way. But it yeah. was it was cool having them along. It was. It was really fun. Yeah. And then let's see, we left Devil's Tower the next day and we drove to Yellowstone. Which was like a 400 mile drive. Yeah, we stayed at a RV park group called Grizzly RV Resort and, right outside of- And West, West, Yellow, West, West, Yellow, West Yellowstone. Yeah, it was West Yellowstone, Montana. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, and uh, we spent three full days there. Each day we went into Yellowstone. I wussed out one day. He did the yeah, second day. <laughs> all three of them went on a explore expedition, and I was like, "Yeah, no, uh, you guys wore me out. I'm staying at the <laughs> RV all day today." Yeah, so I'm really grateful that Patrick and Eric was there. So yeah, I, he, they went with me to go explore because yeah, yeah, Jason was worn out. I was worn out. I, I wanted a day of relaxation. He I'm like, did. "Gosh, dang it! This is my vacation too." <laughs> I want to be lazy. Oh man, but Yellowstone was so beautiful. <laughs> we will be going back there. Yes. Yeah, because they, there's a, like the road along there, there's a lot of pull-offs and stuff, and you could just stop at one of those, stay the night, continue the drive the next day yeah. and see more stuff. It's and huge. There's, there's just so much to see. You like, just need so much time to go and see They got waterfalls stuff. and lakes and well, animal geysers, wildlife the, and geysers uh, and hot prismatics yes. and hot springs. Oh my gosh. Like they got everything there. Yeah. And, and just to think, that's a volcano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're all strolling around it. That, that kind of makes me a little a nervous. A super volcano. A super, the biggest, isn't that the biggest volcano in the world? I don't know, but yeah. Or one it's, of, it's, like it's a super, super duper volcano. Yeah. So I guess I would spend <laughs> three full days there in Yellowstone. And then after that, we headed back home, took, we took two days. We moseyed on the way up and the way back, took two days up and two days yep, back. Yep, yep. Stopping at RV parks up. and. Yeah, we were, um, I think we might have already said, we were just going to take a week off when we got home to Waco, but then we decided to take two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just I, made it a full the, month off. Yeah, yeah, just made it a full month. I needed more time. More yeah. time just to relax. Yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just so grateful that we're able to be able to do that, to take a oh full month gosh. off yeah, and, yeah. you know, not have to worry, but gosh, yeah, it was really nice. It's, it's been a while I since feel, we've taken a vacation like that. I feel so... Like after a month off of work, I just feel so relaxed. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I try, I'm not letting things stress me out anymore as much. And, yeah. you know, you're just, you're just more relaxed. So we, we need to do that more often. We do. I mean, <laughs> I mean, even though, you know, we love what we do. We yeah, love we do. this we job. Do. It's, you know, the it's. stresses though, of driving. It does get stressful with, it, yes, driving, traffic, weather, you yeah, know, yeah. dealing with people at shippers and receivers. So there are stressful times, but, you know, we do love it. It, just, yeah. it was just nice to get, even though we love the crafty condo, it's yeah. nice getting out of the truck and just out of not thinking about, even just not videoing and worrying about yeah. editing. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, that was just really, really nice. Yeah. And not that yeah. we don't love doing it. We do. We love sharing We do, our but life you need a break. Guys, you need a break yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> we need do. a break. You need a you break. Do. Yeah. Because when you're trying to film and stuff and you're more focused on what you're filming and not enjoying what you're doing what you're doing right we've done that before we've yeah. taken a vacation and the whole time we were videoing it and trying to make video for our youtube and we were like well you know what we didn't even enjoy our vacation <laughs> yeah kind of like uh what was it last year at tahoe you know we went yeah but we were filming the we're, whole time yeah Not that we didn't enjoy tahoe but yeah it's just it's a different experience when you're trying to get footage and yeah. 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 Because <laughs> you're trying to thinking relax. about, oh, what do we need to film? Oh, let's film this. Let's, let's film that. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was really, it was, it was such an enjoyable time. It was. And it was. Yeah. And We're glad to be back at it, though. We are. Even we gotta, though we came home for this quick little weekend. Yeah. We got we, another load lined up tomorrow. We got two loads lined up, so yeah. that'll take us through Well, the next one week. for this next week, though. Yeah. And then the next yeah. one's the following the week. The following so. week. So. But you'll find all of that out, you know. We'll tell you about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to jump on. Oh, and, and yesterday we, you probably saw a clip of, but we got our little crafty condo badge on the oh, truck. Yeah. Our, our favorite Australian Wayne yeah, sent yeah, these to yeah. us. We got them when we came home for our vacation yeah. and we got them on the yeah, truck. Yeah. So thank you, Wayne. If thank you're watching, you, Wayne. we love Wayne. He is so awesome. I got one more. Oh. When we, before we went home uh, for vacation, mm -hmm. 
we were over in Florida and one of our longtime viewers, yes, Bonnie, came Bonnie. and seen us. Oh my gosh, we love Bonnie so much. We were in Orlando for the weekend and she lives over in Tampa and yes. she actually drove all the way over to Orlando she to come did, say hi. Just to come see us. Yeah. She, she rented a little cabin there at the KOA yeah, for yeah. the night. Yeah, yeah. And, and then she was, had to be back at work the next day or yeah. night or something. Yes, so. yes. But, we totally, well, gosh, we <laughs> haven't done a video since We then, haven't so done we any haven't videos, I know, so we that, haven't got to mention. Yeah, it, so. Bonnie, she's such an awesome, awesome lady. Yeah, love her. To huge death. supporter of yes. the crafties. We, we love y'all, you guys. Yeah, all we, of do, we do. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Yep. Stay tuned for the next vlog to see where we're heading next. It's kind of crazy. It is. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Shh, coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. <laughs>